Today's video is brought to us by Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're like most gun owners who like to repair and upgrade your own firearms, well, why not take that passion and turn it into a career? SDI is a distance learning institute and all of the materials and tools are shipped directly to your door. They have classes on ballistics, gunsmithing, armorers courses, and even drone classes. You can get your certificate or your degree and take that step now. Check out the link down below and in the pinned comment, sdi.edu. And thank you to the Sonoran Desert Institute for making today's video possible. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time, thank you for watching. Last night, news came out that Mexico was gonna refile a lawsuit. Now, I covered this lawsuit last year in August of 2021 when it was filed. The, I'll give you a quick brush up, the video will be linked. But Mexico sued American gun manufacturers, all but one specific one. I'll get into that in a second. But they sued American gun manufacturers for $10 billion, with a B, $10 billion. They filed it in Massachusetts because Mara Healy and anti-gunners are like, that's where they, they breed in Massachusetts and California. But this lawsuit was alleging that these gun manufacturers were trafficking firearms to the drug cartels and other criminals in Mexico. $10 billion. Now, before I tell you what happened with that lawsuit, these are the, the, uh, the groups, the, the manufacturers that were being sued in this case. It was Smith & Wesson, Barrett, Beretta, Colt, Ruger, Glock, one of our uh, well-known distributors in Massachusetts, Interstate Arms, and again, $10 billion. Buh billion dollars because guns get to the cartels and criminals. What was missing off that list was SIG. Why? Because Mexico, they purchased a whole bunch of machine guns from SIG for their military. So don't sue that company, but sue everybody else. Already it started to stink, right? Well, three days ago, a judge dismissed that case because the PLCAA, the Protection of Lawful Commerce and Arms Act, which specifically, and then the judge even said, uh, unequivocally uh, bans or prohibits lawsuits against manufacturers of firearms when their products are used uh, in, by criminals or in unlawful manners. Meaning, gunman goes into an area, shoots up people, that's illegal, right? That's murder, that's uh, assault and battery, dangerous weapon, those are crimes, that's illegal. You don't get to then sue the gun manufacturer because of a criminal. Although, there is a concerted effort by this United States government to stop that, to allow those lawsuits to happen, to sue gun manufacturers out of business. I digress. So, lawsuit was dismissed because the PLCAA prohibits those type of lawsuits. And to, before I tell you what they're gonna do next, it was funny that they have a problem with guns getting into the hands of criminals, because criminals will always get guns. There's not a law you can pass that'll stop that. But Mexico didn't care or doesn't take any lawsuits against anybody about trafficking people or narcotics, or if you really don't want stuff to come through, maybe put up a wall, maybe close the border, harden the border. Eh, things that work in other, other places. Um, what do I know? But I'm willing to bet that a vast majority of those guns that Mexico doesn't like that get into their country. I bet they came from places like the ATF, Project Fast and Furious, the DEA, the Obama administration. Hmm. Funny, Mexico didn't go after them. Now, three days ago, Mexico, their initial response in this case being dismissed was that they were going to appeal. But when you appeal a case, it would go to, like it was in, the, in, in Massachusetts, it would go through the circuit court in that circuit, which is the first circuit. And they have a judge who said a PLCAA is a thing, he stood by it, which was shocking because it's Massachusetts. But in an effort to pull at some heartstrings and maybe go a different way, Mexico is going to refile this lawsuit in Arizona now. This was announced yesterday, late, late in the evening. Uh, is when I got it. And they're going to include in this lawsuit 10 counties, 10 border counties where they say most of these firearms come through. Again, 
Mexico, uh, if you watch this, uh, things come through because criminals do it. They'll always get criminal. Uh, criminals will always get the tools that they seek, whether it be a firearm, uh, a car, uh, you know, explosive material. They'll always get what they need because that's what criminals do. You have to shut down the black market. But I'll also say is I don't care if Mexico doesn't like our freedoms. I really, really don't care. And I also want the folks watching this to understand who is backing this lawsuit, who in America is saying, you know what, we're going to help other countries sue to get rid of this specific right, the right to keep and bear arms. To, they want it eradicated so that they can get complete and utter control. And that's the Brady Group and Every Town for Gun Safety. Yes, they, shocker, I know, they sided with a foreign country over the rights of Americans. Stew on that. So this lawsuit, they're going to refile in Arizona uh, in the coming days, probably. And uh, they're going to try to sue local communities now. You know why? Because the PLCAA doesn't cover them. And this bears watching. This bears watching. In the, in the, in the first lawsuit, uh, there were a ton of anti-gun attorneys general from different states that were backing the Mexican side. Yeah. Let me know what you think about this down below. I would love to hear what you have to say on this one. Um, and, you know, good on the companies for fiercely defending themselves. NSSF was uh, part of that as well. They did a great job in getting this lawsuit dismissed. I will have the judge's dismissal. It's a 44-page document. I'll link that down below if you want to rip through it. I'll also have linked down below the original filing from last year. It's 100 and some odd, 130-something pages, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. Uh, but I'll have those down there if you want to read them. But again, who cares what any other country thinks about our right to keep and bear arms? It is our right to keep and bear arms that has let America, although it's not quite the same as it once was, it's kept us free. And other, company, other companies, other countries absolutely hate that fact because their people want that freedom too. Never forget what we have. We take it for granted far too long. To we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. That is what it's all about, folks. Your ability to keep each other safe. Whether it's from uh, a criminal, whether it's from an attacking uh, alligator, or from a tyrannical government. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.